Okay, so here we're opening the Tello app. This is the official app to control the DJI Tello by Rise. And what we are demonstrating here is a Tello takeover, if you will. Here's our drone. A lovely uh, artist for college and sciences. And what we're gonna do is we're actually going to take off the drone. So here we are taking off the drone as a normal person would. We can control it just like anyone could pick up this app, connect to it over Wi-Fi, and talk to that drone, right? You can do pretty much anything anyone can do. However, over here on the attacker machine, we're actually going to take advantage of some of the Tello's functionality to take over the, take over the Tello. So here we have something called Drone Commander. This Drone Commander.py actually leverages the Tello's SDK or Software Development Kit, which is a baked in way to talk to that drone and give it commands directly. So what we're going to do is first connect to the Tello over Wi-Fi. See if we can find it real quick. We found it here. We're connecting to this over Wi-Fi, sometimes it takes a while. But while we're waiting, what we're going to do is we're going to hop on that same network that that teller is broadcasting, and then we're going to give it a takeover command. As soon as I take the drone over, you'll actually be able to notice because the camera will completely disappear from there, as I, the attacker, will now have control over the drone. Now that I'm connected on this machine, I'm actually going to start Drone Commander. So we're going to do that with Python 3, Drone Commander.py. And uh, you see I'm binding to the drone. That camera just went out. And now that Tello is still in the air. If you are, you know, just flying your drone in the park or controlling it as you normally would, then you may think that this is a small technical error. However, this is actually me taking over your drone. Uh, I'm actually going to run this flip L command, and when I run it, I'm able to make it flip, right? Let's try something else. Let's try up 100. This is, works in centimeters, and that drone goes way, way up in the air, right? And I wanna go right 150. Right? So now we move way, way over to the right. Let's try down 100. We move the drone back down. We can even request information from the drone with commands like battery, right? We see I have 55% battery left, right? Even in Drone Commander, we also have a help command that allows us to see basically what we can do and the different things, right? This CW, let's see, CW30, uh, right? What this will do is actually turn the drone on its axis. You see it spins to a different orientation. And we're gonna take this drone down a little more. Let's say down 100, actually we'll go down 50. We'll pull it all the way down. And now, this does a one last little fun thing. Just to make sure <laughs> that everything doesn't go too poorly. We'll actually go down, we'll go down 10 more. See if that all works. And just to line it up, one of our favorite commands to run and this is possible if someone takes over your drone. Sam, it's getting off. Ooh, that wasn't bad. No. Am I good? This yeah. emergency command actually stops the motors completely. <laughs> Love that. And that's what can happen when someone takes over your drone. Make sure you put a password on these things.